Crap, are you free? Sure, old man. Ah, enough of that old man nonsense. I'm in the prime of my life. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> How you getting on? Bored. You see that swamp, Arthur? That's God's own pantry. What are we eating? Venison? Come on, let's go gather some crawfish. See what else we can get. Crawfish? Yeah, crawfish. Finest eating there is. It's not just crawfish. No. There's monsters out there that'll eat a feller for fun. Oh, Arthur. I thought you were a man. No, sir. <laughs> when it comes to prehistoric monsters, I am very much a coward. <laughs> Whew. Head for those trees across from us, and we'll take a look. On the starboard side. The what? My left, your right. This is a boat, Arthur. Okay. Whatever you say. Okay, go slow so I can see. My eyes aren't what they used to be. No, no, ground is too high here. Keep following the shoreline. What exactly are we looking for? We're looking for low ground and a lot of muck. Pull us in over there. Here? Yeah, yeah, come on. There's more than crawfish in this water. Stop your whining, please. This is the place. Beneath now tell me, you. Arthur, have you ever birthed a cow? No. Right, it's nothing like that, but it's equally as gruesome if you're squeamish. You're really selling this, aren't you? Now, do you see this all? Yep. Well, it's sort of like a natural trap. Just want to stick your hand and watch. And there! <laughs> there, you see? Good. Well, seems easy enough. Uh-huh. Let's go find another hole. So, how long were you in the Navy? Oh, years. Well, it must have been a year, at least. Or close to that. That's quite a range. All water under the bridge now. No pun intended. Oh, look there. Another crayfish hole. You see it? You try this time, Arthur. And remember to reach down deep and get right in there. They like to dig in, the little blighters. It's all right. They don't really bite. I got some. Nicely done. Why don't you see if there's any more down there? Go on. One more squelch down there can't hurt. There we go. What did I tell you? <laughs> okay, come on. Let's try another hole. Won't be much of a gumbo if we don't find some more. down. Talking of other creatures. There. Those gators? Yeah. Three. And they're female. Must be guarding nests. So... Gator eggs. Really valuable. Even better eating. I'd love cooking with them. Okay. Tell you what. I'm gonna sneak over to the other side of them. Draw their attention. And then run like hell. Now, assuming I don't get eaten, you go plunder the nests. That's your plan? You're madder than I thought. Shh. I've done it before in Sumatra. It's easy. I've heard that line before. Oh, ye of little faith. Wait here, Mr. Morgan.
All right, sir, take us back to the dock. Excellent! That's what I call teamwork. I don't think I've ever seen you move that fast. People pay a lot of money for those eggs. I'm told there's a collector in San Denis who gives top dollar for them. For millinery, of all things. Yeah, I met him. He's quite a character. That was fun. Uh, I must get out more. Is that your idea of fun, is it? <sighs> oh, what? Thank you. Here, have some crawfish. And give you some of those eggs. <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe you could hatch that. Get yourself a new friend. There's a thought. A new reptilian best buddy. To replace Mike, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Ah, uh, hello, Mr. Morgan. Reverend. Mr. Morgan. How you doing, Abigail? My, my, I do like this new haircut of yours. Uh, blame Trelawney. here for you, Arthur. Arthur Morgan. You good? Yep. Hey. Howdy do, Arthur. Hey, Bill. I need to sleep. Hey. Run into a couple of Indians in San Denis. A chief called Rainsfall and his son. Yeah, I know the name. I'm real need of help right now. Yo no siento okay. el que I need to get to sleep. Yo no siento el que me haya Uncle. Ha, and all that. <laughs> Just put the knife away. You ain't impressing no one. You got such a chip on your shoulder, don't you? Or slip and do us all a favor. What are you trying to do here? Everyone's bored of the tough act now. I'm done with this now. You're rattling the wrong cage. Always in the way, ain't you? There he is. Orph! Hello, Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but but we're still alive. Mm -hmm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. 
Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that Mary girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? You got me thinking how that all ended. <laughs> long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Or I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Where are we heading? I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. Yeah. All right. Head for Rhodes. And quick. She's in Rhodes? No. She's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No. She spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. Now it is. Oh, yes. What do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes. They probably followed us down here. You don't know what happened? She killed one of them, for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Well, Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But like I say, she was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. If they've touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. See? You do care, Miss Grimshaw. Of course I care. About all of you fools. Anyway, talking of folks disappearing, have you seen that boy Kieran since the party for Jack? Okay, I think that's the place up ahead. I think there's a guard. I'll deal with him. Whoa. What you want? Time, sir. We're off. She thought it's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot them. Oh, don't worry. I'll be just fine. Now catch that <sighs> bastard. <sighs> Get after them! Whoa! Nice shot! There! Straight ahead! I saw them go through those bushes! They're heading down the hill! To the water! Oh, there they are! by the shoreline! Alright! I think that last one's the boss! Lasso him and we'll take him back to Tilly. Stay away from me. I'm warning you. Don't kill him yet. I want Tilly to have the last word on this bastard. You stay the hell out of here. Come here. That's it. Ah. Arthur! Ah, great. Hat. 
down for a walk. Let's go for a ride. No. Yeah. Where were we? With pleasure. Do you have the first idea what you're getting into? I'm Anthony Foreman. Well, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Damn Is coward. That bastard. Is that Foreman with an E? I want the other. All right. Here's your man. Bring him here. Dump him on the ground here. I want to get a good look at this monster. So he's still alive then? Ah. Yes. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You Foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur! You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone! Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. All right, you. Come on. Let's get you home. Now get out of here. Stay, girl. Hey there, come on over. I got something here that might be of interest. Must have taken anyways. What you got for me this time, Hector? Coach heading to Appleseed Timber. Supposed to be a lot of guns. Might want to catch them off guard. Okay. Hey, friend. 
How there, mister? Mortar to you? Yeah. You okay, boy? Think so. Well, get off there now. Come on, move it. Hell no. There's a whole lot more of us than you. Let's go, boy.
enough to see what a blue jay looks like. Okay. This is just a hell of a trip. Hey, you all right, mister? Can we, uh, can we help you? I'm fine. Oh, I know you two. Hey, <laughs> look who it is. Oh. <laughs> I barely recognized you boys on account of you not trying to kill each other. Yeah, well, somebody learned his manners, finally. So you boys didn't run away. Now, nobody looking out here. I reckon we're, we're okay. Uh, all right. But the law's pretty, well, it's pretty vigorous these days. I told you we should leave, but did you want to listen? Oh, no. Mr. Hyde Mighty, he don't listen to no oh, one. Oh, would you just shut up? I will not. I will not shut up. You know what? You'll shut up when I shut you up. Oh, that's real funny. I cannot believe it. I'm stuck out here with only you to talk to. I get a better conversation from the goddamn trees. I know. I've seen you talking to them. They should have hanged you for being a moron. Yeah. Easy now. Yeah. <laughs> 
You okay, boy? Dead end. <laughs> you got nowhere to go, bounty hunter. I ain't here to kill you. <laughs> Wouldn't matter if you were. There's only one way out of here, and that's through me. Come easy. I'll say something to the law. <laughs> it ain't gonna be easy. You're gonna have to draw on me to get me out. You might have found me. But you won't beat me, bounty hunter. Damn this! I'm damn bounty hunter! This is, uh, very kind of you. <laughs> We're going back to Strawberry. <laughs> now the fun starts. Boy. You shot me. You didn't even have a decency to do it right. You... A man with a bullet in him, you talk a lot. Got me in my younger days. I'll take a nap, old man. Easy, boy. That's Big Josh, all right. Hey, he looks heavy. Can we take that bounty off of you? I can manage him fine. than me. God damn you! Yeah. I wish you killed me back there. A real man would have kind of regret not killing you. It ain't for me. You want to start something? I don't deserve this. I deserve to go out with some damn honor. I live by the gun. Let me die by it, damn it. That's what, that's what I deserve, you damn sneak. You damn gut shooter. Here we are. Got Brown here. Ah, Mr. Brown. Come on now. Make him comfortable downstairs. me up. Forget about me. Now, leave me to my peace. Pay's right here. You make you work for it? He dueled me, so I'd say that's a yes. 
<laughs> Lucky you're still obliged. Come on, pal. you doing? You see me smiling? I am so sorry to hear. Welcome to you and your horse. Got some room in the stable here. I'll give you a fair price. Sorry, but without the paper, I can't pay you full price. seen mushrooms with bigger brains. Well, now, I was wondering when you'd be back. Oh, hello again. Never too soon, huh? Okay, on, fella. Get up, man. Try not to exhaust yourself. Now lay off. You want trouble with me? Uh, hello, partner. Hey, Mark, what the hell are you doing? Hey, come on. You think you're tough? I can outdraw you anytime, any day. Drunk like you? Not even worth my time. Knew you was yellow as mustard. Without the bite. What Until the hell? Next time. Sleep it off. Be happy you're breathing. I bet I could beat you with my eyes closed. Here we go. Hey, shit. You. Oh, they just left. Yeah. Sure. Mister? Welcome back, sir. Stay out of my way. you eaten up in no time. That looks better. How goes it? Well, people ask where you got it, you be sure to tell them. Everyone in here is right. so... Oh, we ain't want them. no more Thank of your you. trouble. Just back off. <laughs> Get away from me. You best watch your mouth. Hey, 
Thank you for your help. What? Hello. They'll give anyone a badge these days, won't they? Take another look at this badge, deadbeat. Folks must laugh when you try and arrest them. Okay, move yourself along. No fuss now. Okay. This isn't I ain't looking to cause problems. Indeed. That's it. One foot in front of the other. Keep it up. Stop! Oh, oh, my God. Oh. Got around. Find me, huh? Just stop. You goddamn crazy? <laughs> Did you wait for us for me? Is not old crazy man Cassidy. Help a blind man. Have this. I sense great confusion in you, sir. Great confusion. Not because you do not know. Because you are afraid of what you know. Uh, sure. Okay, mister. <laughs> All the best now. Yep. Yep. Heavens. Good evening, sir. 
thinking of going after them, are you? I'd wager you're more than up to it. Watch where you're going. I know that fellow is farming the swamp, or trying to, up by Siltwater Strand. He's a bad egg. Evening. Fancy that. I seen them coming and going here, and I never had an inkling. Mark Johnson, the bounty. What I need to know. I gotta be wary of this one? Just the other day, he took his son out on the rails. He seemed nice enough. Seemed, when quite clearly, he is not. It can be confusing. Anything else about this old bounty you got, uh, Johnson? I don't know what to tell you. It's a funny one. Man looks to have put roots down, worked hard, is part of the community. Almost. You never can know a person. And I say that as a married man. I guess they ain't gonna turn themselves in. They're looking for that one alive, I believe. Do your utmost. How do you do, sir? How's your luck? What's it to be? Hey, wait up there. What brings you to this fine town? Profit and pillage? What is it? The men round here. Recruit suicidal. Ain't going till you get this. Oh, they're here for your bounty. Oh, come to mama, boy. Oh, shoot, I'm unarmed. We knew you was coming. Leave my daddy alone. Billy, Shit. leave it. Be a man about to say this. Goodbye. Boy, you're the man now. You can't be soft no more. Yeah. All right, let's go. I love you, Daddy. Quit that talk. Just be strong, boy. Point and all that. Could have got your neck broke. Premature. No more games, all right? Johnson. Johnson. What? Just, you're real quiet back there. Most captured men, they beg or they cry or they rail against fate. I've got nothing to say to you. Okay. 
Hold on. Won't be long till we're in roads. This is Rhodes. You're almost shot of me. I'm ready. I hope they make it quick. Hey now. You're coming with me. Found this feller on a small holding. Name's Mark Johnson. You can only run so long, son. There's your cell. Your luck is not a grave. I was out in the bayou. Wasn't hurting no one. Your past catches up with you. That's the price for Johnson. I didn't take it someone else would have. You tell yourself that, bounty hunter. You ain't whiter than white. I hope your past catches up with you. I swear I'm a good man now, Sheriff. I got a son. I'm not listening. Got another outlaw we're seeking. Poster will be done and in the station in no time hence. Let's go, boy. Oh my. With you in a moment. How do well, you do? hello again. I got another one. You interested? How's things, Alden? Good. All right, this is a little different. Take the coach and deliver it to my contact. He'll pay you well for it. It's a fragile cargo, so go easy. Okay, but the money best be right. Oh, it is, Arthur. I promise, it's very right. Farewell. I'm killing
lost or something? What's the problem? The back left wheel seems shaky to me. Looks like it's about to come off. Yeah? Ah, shit. Maxwell, go take a look. Right. Get off of there, now! Do what I say and nobody Shit. gets hurt. He's going!
you might be interested in this. The hell you done to this poor thing? And this is for you. See you again soon. Welcome, friend. You must have done some real trouble to acquire this kind of price in your head. Thanks, mister. Come on. Okay there, mister? You need me to move? Move? I am. I'm sitting in the wrong place. Excuse me? No, I didn't mean any offense, sir. Please. I don't get your meaning. I'm very sorry, sir. You have yourself a fine day, and I apologize for any offense I may have inadvertently caused. What are you drinking, mister? Nothing, sir. Nothing at all. Why are you acting so strange? I don't mean to. I'm sorry for any offense. How could you have offended me? I have no idea. But I had no idea how I offended the last fellas. And they stole my wagon on account of my impudence. Stole your wagon for back check? Mm, they didn't like my medical practice, I suppose. I was helping folk. And that wasn't popular? I was undercutting the competition. Or I was too colored. Or I was irritating in nature. Or I was some know-it-all big city slicker here to demean some good old boys of my fine words. The exact variety of my sins was the source of some conjecture, so they undercut me. That ain't very nice. That was my impression. Still, compared to the gutting, castration, defenestration, and crucifixion they offered me, I felt I got off lightly. Imaginative bunch. Yes. But... No great love of my medical practice. Too free with my wisdom and services. <sighs> Which way they go? Down the road, that away. Stay here. I'm sort of forced to. Please don't go to any trouble on my account. Mm hmm. Are you looking for that fella's wagon? I heard him say they was taking it to Macomb's Inn. Okay, thanks.
how you do, old boy. <laughs> You're a good boy. Yeah, you all right there, boy? <laughs> you back to the dock. Oh, my. Oh, look who it is. I did not count on seeing that wagon again. Nor you, for that matter. The only people you won't be seeing are the folks that took it. Uh, I take it they aren't the only ignorant bullying clodhoppers in these parts. But I can live in glorious hope. Now, it wasn't a trouble now, was it? No, it was a pleasure. Yeah. Let me give you something for your pleasure. Ah, what we got here. Ah, how about this? Provide a man a tincture, he'll be well for a day. 
teaching to make one, he might be well a while longer. Well, I'll make sure to try and make this. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It won't work for anything chronic, but you may not need it to. Well, if you see me on my travels and you're in need of something, make sure you come and say hello. Travel safe now. Long time no see, stranger. <laughs> Been a minute. Got anything good for me by any chance? Good morning to you. Hold your horses, won't be long. Ah, good to see you. Let me write down the name of that, uh, tailor for you. So, what are we looking at? Passenger's a wealthy merchant. Always travels with a lot of cash on him. Details on the note. Okay. Good seeing you, Alden. And you, my friend. And you.
These damn roads are hell on my back. Could you please control your horse? Hey there, yourself! Get your hands up and keep them there. I just want a word with your passenger. Okay, he's all yours! God, we're being robbed. Money. Hand it over. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, okay, stop. I'll tell you. There's a locked box hidden under the coat. The money's in there. You better not be lying to me. I'm not. I see you move before I'm gone. I'll put a bullet in you. Yeah. Thinking of going after them, are you? I'd wager you're more than up to it. Try looking for that one out by Catfish Sir, Jackson's. Morning. And when you get him and his cronies, tell him that we're just railway workers here, not instruments of tyranny or however they phrase it. The imbeciles. This bounty, Raider, with all the M's and L's in his name, you must know something about him. Camille de Millamont. He's French, but he's no gentleman. Whole pack of raiders or savages, if you ask me. Good riddance to him. 
If I'm gonna go after this bounty, the raider, I'll need more information. The bounty's for Demilamon, you see. But, look, you won't find just him. I'll have a whole band of boys with him, so be wary. Hey, I'm always wary. I guess they ain't gonna turn themselves in. And it's dead or alive, in case you aren't much of a reader. I... Wait your turn. Almost done. Thank you. Really. Ah, perfect timing. I've got a message here for you. <clears throat> this is for you. Watch yourself with this one. Should be two, maybe three coaches, and they'll be well guarded. All right, don't you worry about me. But I do worry. It's my curse. This very solemn occasion to dispense justice. That's Ladies right. and gentlemen. Easy, easy. Hey there. Ain't interested. Hold. You did what I tell you. Step down from the coach. Play nice and nobody needs to die here.
Some damn nerve coming back on my property. Get the hell out of here. You remember that loan you took, Mr. Davison? Well, time's long since up. I'm here to collect. Oh, first you rob me, then you want to get paid. And he asked why I turned to the bottle. Sure, I got your money, every stinking cent. It's in the house. Hell, I'll even offer you a drink. We can toast to never laying eyes on each other again. You lucky I'm humoring you at all. Yeah, I remember. I don't know what you're talking about. Now, let's get that debt settled. Hold on. You're getting it. Shouldn't have borrowed no money from that shifty-looking bastard. That's something we can both agree on. But... We can also agree you did. You back so soon, Paul? Someone's here, boy. Paul, wait, what's going on? Don't just stand there. It's turning into a bad day for you, mister. Let me out of this rope. Please, I shouldn't have to die for his sins. Son, I want to get out of here, but I can't until I find some money. There's some in my footlocker. I I've been keeping it away from him. Ain't that lucky. Shit. I think I know the sum, and that should cover it. Ain't you the good son. You should be proud of yourself. Time to go, boy. Yeah. Yep. Easy, whoa.
work, my friend. I am proud of you all. That will send a clear message. Let's hitch the horses and relax a little. Come on, gather round the fire. I have something to say. What the hell is... Isn't your day, is it? You're making a big mistake. What? You seek to deny my freedom when I fight for yours? I seek to get paid, that's all. I am no criminal. I fight for you, for all of us. You shut up! I am a realist, that's all. People need hierarchy. Shut it. Remember, I get paid dead or alive. making a big mistake. We're on the same side. No, we ain't. You made a big mistake coming back here. I got the Millamont, and he ain't happy about it. Strike me down. Sheriff. Put him in the cell, then. You are a traitor, Sheriff Tomas. Sending this Yankee against your own. Quiet down. That's always been all you's problem. Too damn noisy for folks good. That's what we'll pay for. I guess that's what I'll have to accept then. You have not seen the last of us. Whew, that jolted me.
That's here, boy. There he is. Stole yourself a new hat, did you? <laughs> Looks like we'll live to see at least a few more days. Folks are happy, Arthur. Happy? Well, they're fed, which is the next best thing. 